Hey everybody, it's WizWorld 100, and today I just want to do something a little different. I wouldn't say completely different, but just something I thought I'd try and see, well, uh, how it would, uh, turn out. And what I want to do is this thing called Sunday Showcase, where I basically play a game and just kind of highlight it, and it'll be shown every Sunday. It's just an excuse to get me to sit down and play some video games. So, let's, uh, let's give it a try and see how it works. And if you saw that little glimpse of the game, today, I'm gonna be playing... Mighty Morphin Power Rangers game. I'm still not sure what game I should have started on, but you know, this has been on my mind kind of a lot. Oh, not a whole lot, it's just that's the one thing I po I point to when I was thinking of doing this. It's also why I'm wearing this shirt just for this one time. It's not as interesting as I thought when I was a kid. What is interesting about this cart is, uh, I looked on the back and it says, Production of Hollywood Videos, or Video. I don't know if I have some, like, you know, Advertisement Hollywood special uh, copy of the game, because it was imprinted like that. I didn't do that myself, because... Oh yeah, I'm not gonna be, like, necessarily completing the whole game if, uh, if it can be done. And it's, it's just a showcase, like, uh, like the name says. It's just gonna be a showcase of the game to be like, Hey, check out this game, sort of, or, you know, see what, uh, how this game plays out. It's an experiment, so... You know, comment below what you think. Like the video if you think, like, you know, this is a this is a, something interesting you'd be, you'd like to like you know occasionally or not occasionally every Sunday you would uh, get to see if it becomes uh, you know popular or successful. You know, something worth the time. But like, I want to do it mainly because I want to sit down and play video games. So let's see how it goes. <clears throat> Come on, it's Power Rangers. Go go Power Rangers! Go, go, Power Rangers! Go, go, Power Rangers! You mighty Morphin Power Rangers! Alright. <clears throat> Let's get on to the Power Rangering. Go stereo. Who the hell uses mono anyways? Shoot, I forget what it was, but Rita's taking over, over the world. Actually, you don't ever get to see Zordon in this, not even in the intro. Rita. Alpha, Rita's escape, recruit a team of teenagers with attitude. So you get to pick uh, the main five. The one small messed up thing, by the way, this music is pretty awesome. This game has great music. Just gonna point that out there. Uh, the gameplay may, may not be that great, but music is really good. But uh, enough talking, let's play as the first ranger for the first stage. I always play it in a certain sequence. There's almost no difference between the rangers. Yeah, I think the reason why they don't have uh, Tommy, the green ranger, in this game is because uh, his ranger sprite is uh, unique. Because of that dragon chest. Yeah, that dragon chest plate. So it's a side-scrolling beat-em-up. You can jump, attack with the Y button. Very, very simple, nothing complex. You'd think uh, many ninjas might have covered it, but nope. There's also a bunch of special moves that you can do. Oh yeah! So that's what I was trying to remember from uh, Unreal's video, because uh, he was like, oh, how do you do these special moves and stuff? If you don't own the manual, uh, you, you won't know the special moves, or you could discover it by yourself. And this music kicks ass. Alright, we get to one of these uh, sections. There's three sections in each uh, level of the game, where you play as a civilian, and then you... It's morphin' time! And this is where we get our weapons. Typically, I... Ah, oh, you know what? Do it. Typically, I'd do this uh, right here just to show off, because later on you get a bomb anyways, and you can't stack them, and or make them more powerful. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, there we go. That's that's one of the special moves that you can uh, perf that you can perform. And of course, you got a simple combo. And holding up attack will do your your strongest attack. By the way, that's a bomb. Wait. Yeah, always like doing that. Oh. Punch his guts, yeah, there we go, punch his guts down. Have a seat. <laughs> that was lame. Have a seat, sir. Boink. 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 Boop to the head. Oh, he's dead. Alright, let's see if I can do this next part. Oh, boo! You can actually instantly kill all of them. You can actually instantly kill all of them, and then just, you know, don't have to fight them. Health. And didn't the putties always, like, just 
not have weapons? It's a barrel of laughs! I don't think they find- ow, I didn't find that funny. They kind of creep up on you like, like, pedophiles. I don't think that was appropriate, but hey. Actually, stalkers would have been uh, a lot more appropriate. All right, we're gonna fight Skeletor as a Spanish cousin. Boom! Oh, fuck you. I thought he was gonna do the, the other tech. Oh, you can't, you can't grab him. I've never tested that. This guy is all bones. He's, he's bones and he's gonna get boned. I forget, was I supposed to use it here for the efficiency kill? Actually, yeah, I think so, because every time you do your up attack, this happens, and he has to rebuild himself, which is, uh, really annoying. He's just a disembodied head. Oh, wow, he died fast. Let's see, I, I can stand in the right place. Nope, that wasn't the right place to stand. And you know what's really messed up? No Zord battles! What the hell? What the hell? You're supposed to... You're supposed to fight the boss or the monster of the week, and when you defeat him, Rita makes, turns him into a monster. But nope, you only get two Zord battles at the end, which is really... Which I didn't know catch the first time, because I was like, oh, we get Zord battles anyways. I'm gonna pick Kimberly next. Everyone uses Kimberly during, like, uh, like when they try to speedrun this game, because uh, I think she has longer range. Look at that leg, look at that kick. Yeah, these things can help us, but... Well, I think it's just a security system, just for anything in general, not... And it's not installed by... Ow! These guys. Oh, come on! And jump over the fence! Not that there was a fence, but, you know, makes it more fun, because, uh, I do it fun. Oh! Yeah, these guys with the shield, they just take longer to hit. Stop jumping back. Oh, no! I didn't want to throw them! I didn't want to throw them! Oh, well, he died anyway, so that's okay. Come on, everybody get in a group! Ow! I didn't want to throw them! What the hell? I know I know what triggers the throw, just like, I didn't think I was close enough. That was awfully slow. No! God damn it! Yeah, that's weird. I don't know if it's my controller, because it's supposed- you're supposed to, like, combo a lot faster than that. Alright, now we're- it's morphin' time! Kimberly's special weapon is shooting arrows, which is one of the- one of the three unique, uh, up attacks you can do. These guys are jumping too much, which is why they're not dying as efficiently. By the way, the arrow doesn't do that much damage. It, it does very minuscule damage. Oh, this game also did teach me one thing uh, in the whole gaming world, is uh, wall jumping. Because you have to do wall jump. Hang on, I've got to go take a shower. I'm going to take a shower. Hey, get out of my shower! I said, don't get in the shower! I always do that, it, it was funny. And we got to destroy this thing. Okay, if you press B, you drop down, which is different from, uh, your typical, your other video games. Oh, wait, I want you to stay up, get up there, so I can just hit you all! Yeah, when you throw people, you have an invincibility friend. Come on. When you hit something indestructible, it makes that, uh, sound. Hmm, this controller must not be living up to, uh, it's showing its, uh, age out. Yeah, Kimberly also has the longest range with this weapon, using her bow. You don't see her you doing that in the show. But they had to think of something, I guess. Can't destroy that. I don't know what facility needs that. This is one of the instances where you uh, need to wall jump, or not need to wall jump. Ow. Ow. Yeah, you can't reach it like this, so I had to accidentally learn to wall jump like that. Game never tells you that, although it tells you in the manual, as per usual, because this is this is back in the day when you had to own the manual to like understand how to play the game. I still wish I had my English manual of uh, Killer Instinct, though. Oh well, now I know why the speedrunners do that. It is a whole lot faster. <laughs> yeah. Oh yes, bullseye. Oh yeah, yeah, you can do a backflip if uh, you press the jump on like, like immediately. Oh, ow! What, what are these, Simon Belmonts? Did someone make a joke on that already? I will defend this territory. Ouch! No, King of the Hill. And then we come to the the easiest boss in this game, I would say. I I, I, for, I forget. I think Unreal had tr had trouble with this, and I was like, how the hell do you have trouble with this boss? And, all you have to do is just stand right here and just keep hitting the bu attack one. Ah! I wasn't hitting fast enough. Yeah, you're gonna miss that last one because it leaves too much time open for him to escape. 
He can't do- he don't- he can't do anything when he's on the, uh, ground floor. I believe, like, uh, if you stand on the- on the second lowest, uh, platform, uh, that was what the speedrun does. Yeah, timed it! Oh, he didn't die? He's supposed to die instantly, uh... Whoa. Alright, I think I'm supposed to stand here. Yeah! Right spot. Now to play Billy. Oh, is it David Yoss? I remember- well, I remember his first name, that's good enough. Man, those are like some really 90s overalls. Like, look how- look how fat it looks. Or, look how fat it makes him look. Oh, spiders. Yeah, the way Billy attacks is like, he, he covers himself, or cover, covers his head while, uh, attacking. Like, ew, don't hurt me. Uh, he, he, his character was a stare, was a stereotypical nerd, but... Dude, he gets to do like a ra like a machine gun punch. How can you say no to that? Die, spider! Ow. What are they shooting, anyways? Oh yeah, I forgot to mention the music in the second stage when you're, uh... Yeah, just the second stage is also really good. I have it downloaded. Oh, okay, it just... It just lowers the volume of it. Just in case ever anyone was ever interested in recording um, directly from uh, the game. Urgh! It's really difficult to get the putties to line up with the thing to have it drop. Ow. Oh! That was the first one to actually duck down and stab me in the dick. Ow. Come on. Yes! Oh, oh, Bip, come on, Billy! I'm wearing your damn shirt, too. Alright, it's morphin' time. I always assumed that boss just came out from, like, from behind the graphics. That would've been something. Triceratops! Although Billy does have, uh, in addition to Machine Gun Punch, he has the... This attack, which is just a whole lot of fun to use. Come on! Oh, well, he's dead. I think Billy has the long- has the longest weapon? Like, longer, uh, than Kimberly's? But Kimberly, overall, like, has the longest reach. Like, out of all of them, like, in terms of being a ranger and a civilian. Or was it, like, fastest? I forget which one. And this guy comes up and is trying to, like, give us, like, four spiky, uh, <coughs> sexual objects to stick up our butt. You can only, like, cr um, crawl when you're in those situations, which, uh, they don't... It's only in the sewer level. Oh, and if you'll notice that uh, all the Power Ranger sprites look the same, you don't even see, like... Oh, I know, I was thinking something else. All the all the Ranger sprites are all just, like, recolors of uh, each other. That's how they save a little bit on graphics, and the only thing they need to change is the weapons, which... In that case, why not just make a whole new sprite? And by go, you mean drop to my doom. Alright, let's see if I can get this guy in the face. Oh, oh lame! Yeah, apparently, uh, I, I can't... I can only swim. Come on, go, go, go! Go, go, go! Go, go, go! Fuck. Come on, go, 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 go! Yeah, yeah, get in front of that, get in front of that, you know what's good for you. Damn it! In the speedrun, like... I only have to, like, dive twice. This is where I got stuck for like the longest time and button mashing uh, helped me find out what I was supposed to do. What were you expecting? The Ninja Turtles? Speaking of which, I got the entire like, movie collection on uh, DVD for five bucks. Twice as cheap as the one Zero Master got. Although, ten dollars is still pretty good. The strut, strut, strut. Huh. It's almost like majestically jumping into like uh, when you wall jump. Not the worst swimming gra or not the worst swimming sections of all time, but they are out, out. It's at the knee and not the feet. It's where it's needed at. Damn it! Get off my island. Come on, swim. I didn't realize uh, it's also the ranger suit was also a. Um, ooh, nice spot to stand. I didn't realize it was also a um, scuba gear. Now there's a little, uh, not a secret, but a little bit of hidden stuff over here that you can get. See that little thing up there? Yeah, in addition to that, I can't see it, but all this nice bonus stuff. They give you two bombs, which I'm like, what the, why would you ever need two, why would you ever have two bombs? Because you can't carry more than two bombs. There's no counter for it. Oh, I forgot to mention, I think Zero Master has this as a toy in the packaging too. Ow. You sh really should not be hit by this guy, cause, uh... Well, for one, he can only hurt you when, uh... Oh, he can only hurt you when he's actually attacking. Which is actually pretty nice, cause considering other games where it's just like, as soon as you touch someone, you just... They just do damage. Of course, I'm being an idiot here. There we go. Alright. Now for some brain or... Ow. Oh. Wait, those do actually hurt you? Oh, wait, I must have forgotten. Like, honestly, nobody should ever be hit by this guy. 
Alright, I think this is the right spot. 3904 and still no Zord battles here. So playing as Kimber, not Kimber, Trinity. This music is also pretty good too. I should get it. That 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 kick is so 90 degrees. <laughs> huh, 90 degree kick out. Oh, I think if it, if you were controlling Billy right here, he could throw up. But Kimber, or I keep saying Kimberly, Trinity only uh throws like straight forward, which is uh not helpful. Oh, did he kill him for me? Thanks. Dead jump. That's that side jump. Very effective though. Oh, that guy, that putty dodged it. Out. All right, now there's a chicken under here. Mmm, chicken, tasty. And that's how you stay fit. <laughs> Dumbass. Oh, he missed. All right, all right. Oh, no, no, no. All oh, you get right in there. Yeah! Oh, and I killed them all. Actually, this kind of sounds like Mega Man music, to be honest. You know, it would have been interesting if, uh, the, if the putties actually came out of the elevator. Oh yeah, I got better kicks than you, buddy. Oh, and then here's a new enemy type. These guys will throw daggers at you from their mouths. That's what it looks like. It's like... It's like... Alright, Morphin time. The putties in this kind of look like... Rejected like sprites of um, Spider-Man. She has the shortest range because of the dagger weapons. Out, out, out. Oh, you guys are asking for it. And the sequence isn't over. Oh yeah, yeah. Her her up attack is that move. Only Billy and Kimberly uh, have um, a different up attack. I almost make it sound like I'm saying epitat when I meant up attack. Maybe that's why Capcom named, named it as a weapon in uh, Monster Hunter 3. <laughs> I'm nudging you with my elbow, huh? <laughs> what, what, exploding? Okay, fine. Ooh, health. The, the bomb weapon, like... Is that like Zordon's fluids or something? Oh! I forgot I can't duck low enough to avoid it. Yeah, certainly they bring guns in the equation. What are these guys, terrorists? Nah. Yeah, just one night, me and Nightman were like making... We're, ma we're making jokes. And the whole entire theme was, uh... How do you incorporate terrorism... Uh... Into the joke. I wanna grab you and throw you off the edge. So unnecessary to... Oh, fuck off. <laughs> Yeah, I guess the other fun thing about this is, uh, trying to get environmental kills on them. This is what you get for fucking with the environment, okay? Well, that's not the environment, but you get what I mean. And then you got this, like, weird hornet weapon. I don't know, I'm gonna let it live. Do I have to kill it? Okay. What you're not seeing is that I'm actually throwing them off screen. Alright, then this boss, which apparently is completely unpredictable. I wouldn't quite say that, although he always does this to me. I don't know what Unreal did to trigger him to, like, not come up. Yeah, just a, like a tiny mini-boss. Come on, come on, hit him! This, 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 this thing is annoying. Oh, I thought my kick would reach him. Rider kick! Even though it's we're dealing with Power Rangers and not Sentai! Alright, Bosh time. I think the other reason that they picked the Pink Ranger is because, um... Uh, is because, like, her bomb attack, like, hits more often, um... For the most time. Ow, I thought I was low enough. Man, terrorist pancakes! <laughs> How else can you just describe killer pancakes? Yeah, and there is no right spot to stand, so. You're actually supposed to be on the on the very ground floor, not there, but I guess the game is just like got confused. Last but not least is Zack. This also has one of the coolest music in the game, too. That throw always looks so ridiculous. <laughs> like, he, like his leg. Oh, it's like he just can't stop da dancing. Even like all all of uh, his uh, attacks are like, in a way, kind of like a uh, break dancing. I guess uh, they're the we're gonna be breaking them with our dance. Of course, when you go to his ranger form, it's just just like the red rangers and uh, and the yellow rangers uh, attack setup, which is kind of lame. I was disappointed, you couldn't use his axe as a gun. I was like, come on! 
Like, it would be like a little charge-up weapon. That'd be cool. Well, this game ain't no double dragon. Then we got Putty with sword. Ow, man. Zach's a tough motherfucker. He took a sword to, like... He took a sword to himself. Or in this case, to... Or not, not in this case to his face, but, like, you know, he took a sword. Or took a hit from a sword. What the hell happened there? Replay that. It's like he got sucked into, like, Zack's tornado, uh, or into his, like, um, breakdancing kick. What was it, MC Hammer Pants? Of course his sprite is as racist as hell. <laughs> oh, that was actually pretty fast. And fighting ninjas. Oh, hey, now Mini Ninjas has a reason to play there, or at least to fight the boss. Doom, 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 Man, those barrels make like the funniest sounds, like boom, 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 like rolling down, like um, uh, die already. That was weird. I was like about to do that combo punch. And doesn't that thing in the background look like a person looking the other way? Here, that's why we have increasing gas prices, because we need it to fight putties. That thing from level four comes in to attack us, which I oh here it comes again. Ah, oh, out. Oh, oh, we haven't done this in a while. Yeah, troll four. Throw throw. Oh, oh well, he's dead. Ha! Much better for like the single hit, single kill enemies. Or one hit kill enemies. Now we're in some laboratory. This is like, like, there's no, there's like almost no rhyme or reason for this. Oh, take an axe to your face. Oh, let's destroy the computers. Stop all the download. No more computers. No more computers for the bad guys. Uh, okay, okay, you get over here. You get very close to here. I'm trying to destroy the thing. There we go. Ha! Troll throw. That, 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 like, jump throw, like, makes me think it's something you should see in, um... Makes me think you should see that in, like, Streets of Rage or something, because it looks like something, like, I think Max would do. I can't move! I've been magnetized! Alright, there's one thing that I did not actually know about this, uh about this area until I watched Unreal's video is you can actually get up here, which I was like, oh, I never noticed that. Yeah, there's a giant can at the end of this place, or hall. Hey, look, I have so much leg power that I only need one to stand. There we go. Yeah, I just, I just don't think you can hit him. Yeah, you just can't hit him, he's, he's too high up. Man, there's a lot of doors in this place. What's this game's fascination with doors? Is it because of their adoring fans? Alright, boss fight. This guy is pretty easy. But out of all the bosses, uh... He is the hardest one. Every time you hit him to the... To, to like, the very edge of the side, like, he'll, uh... He'll disappear. Which I don't think, um... I think when Unreal was commentating with, uh... Zero Master, they did not know that. What's with the information? I thought that information on the back was, like, how they constructed this guy. Oh yeah, he also changes weapons, like, uh, if you knock him into the thing enough times, where he gets, a, like, a little chain in sight. There we go. Time to rock your world. Yeah, this guy's a total ninja. I'm an actual question. I'm an actual question. I'm an actual question. Ow. Can you die? Oh, well, he's dead. Oh, I didn't get in the right area, but close enough, anyways. So now we actually get to the Zord battles. Still a cool part, but... It's just like, why can't we have a Zord battle after every, like, level? You know, just, like, enlarge the sprite and just, like, you know, do the usual. But, uh, nope, we only get two Zord battles at the end, which makes this game very, very short. The, uh, Blue and Yellow Ranger almost made the exact same pose, except the... The Blue Ranger's, uh, left arm is a little higher? It looks different. Somebody measure that. And then we get our kick-ass Megazord. And this part had me shitting my pants when I was a kid, because I was like, What the? A fighting game mechanics? I don't know how to play fighting game mechanics. Well, it kind of is, does play like a fighting game, but at the same time, not really. Ow. Fuck or not. Fucking telemarketers. Oh, I didn't mean to dodge that, but anyways, back to this game. It, it did actually teach me one thing about fighting games. How to block. You block by holding back and, and or holding down. But anyways, this is this is the one strategy you just need to know to like winning all of this, all the fights. It's a jump and up attack. At least uh, this is how you'll survive the second boss. Ow! X button. What? Take that! That's what you get for blocking my X button. Finish him. It's a shame because I I actually like the Megazord battles. Like once I understood how to play them, and there's even a two-player mode for it, which is uh. 
cool, but at the same time kind of disappointing. Or disappointing in the fact that there's only like three fights you can do. Two of which are just the same one, but just from, with a different character. Now this guy, this guy was fucking tough as balls. Like as a kid, like until I realized the secret. You'll see why soon, because uh, as a kid, um, you'll, you'll just see why soon. Ow. I know I said this game taught me how to block, but... Oh, but honestly, I'm not that great with anticipating people's attack. Now, this is why this guy is hard. You have to fight this guy twice in the same fight. Ow. Thankfully, the AI is not smart enough to uh, always counter that one tactic of, of up-attacking all your moves. Ow. Ouch. Bird. Oh, eye laser. I had to finish him off somehow. And he's dead. He also kind of looks like a Gundam too. Like uh, the way his uh, the way his sprites made. Oh, okay. That's the game. And these he you know these teenagers have attitudes because they don't wear seatbelts. Or at least I'm pretty sure most of them aren't wearing seatbelts. And Zach looks like a chimpanzee here. And you got that transition from uh, transition to dawn. Yeah, I think I've seen that happen before during my trips to Kineticon on the long, long road trip. Dude, and then there's Balkan Skull in the background. Oh, the juice bar almost says, uh, Juice Ban. I was like, what? This game is pretty short. It didn't have as much to offer as I originally thought as a kid, but overall, it's a nice piece of nostalgia. It's pretty fun. It's, you know, for the time that you play it, it's pretty fun. It's not a bad game, it's just it could have had so much more to offer. Uh, personally, I think the Genesis uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the movie, the game, is a lot better. And the Super Nintendo one was just like, nah. Like, that almost had nothing... That, that was just... I didn't like it. Presented by Bandai, who later joined up with Namco. Became Bandai Namco. And then we get the hidden password for the two-player fight. I'll get you back for this, Rangers. I know one of the password is 1212, but the... Yeah, I don't remember the first two, but I remember the last one because it's just 1212. So it's 0411 and 1004, presented by Bandai, Finn. And that's it. That's the game. It's worth checking out, but as for owning, if you didn't own it back in the day, it's not quite worth owning now. All right, let's go quickly check one of the uh, codes. Or As you can see, it's a special fight. It's just... Well, that scared, that scared me for a second. I was like, why is he doing that? I was like, I don't have a second controller plugged in. I only have, like, the Super Scope thingy plugged in. Oh, yeah, every time you do your up attack, you use a little bit of your POW, your power bar. Yeah, but it's kind of a shame. It's like, you could have had, like, a little bit of a fighting mechanics in here. Yeah, this is what your attack would be if you maximize it out. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of troll fight would this be? Just shoulder checking each other. But yeah, it would have been kind of a shame. Of course, later on they had like a, they had a, they had a Power Rangers uh, Zord battle that was like, it was just a complete fighting game. Insult to injury. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. However, the hell I edited it, and um, you know, if you want to see more, just like, comment, and just you know. Tell me what you think. Is it um, is it something you'd like to see? Because I'd, I'd sure like to do it. It gives me an opportunity to just sit down, play my games, and not you know always be be looking for the next uh, video game to review. So I hope you enjoyed it. I'm Wizard 100. You're the viewers, and I'm the um, showcaser. So stay tuned for more as I work on the next video. Bye. May the power protect you. Hey guys, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want more than you can see here, be sure to follow me on my Facebook and Twitter for updates on reviews and videos. If you want to help me out, I have a Patreon account, and if you haven't already done so, subscribe to my YouTube channel for more video game content for you to watch, such as the videos I'm showcasing right now. Check out my site LazyWorks Creations and River City Gamers for more content like mine, such as this video's recommendations is... Nightman 39's Toku Vision Clash of the Red Ranger review featuring Zero Master. Links to all that goodness is right in the description, or click the annotations if you're watching on YouTube. It's time to go prehistoric on your ass! I don't get it.
Well, you see in the Sentai, it's actually, you know what, never mind. What are these guys, terrorists? <laughs>